hi guys and welcome to this tutorial i prepped my face using those products i just showed on the screen and now i'm going to be setting it with a setting spray i mean a setting powder <laughs> and then i'm eliminating my face with the nyx and then i'm going in with zaron brown skin liquid foundation i'm using just two pumps right now because I'm just going to, for the first coverage and then I did another coverage using two more pumps. Now I am brushing up my brows so it looks nice and neat for the drawing process. Lining the down of my brows just to form a shape of what I want and then the top in order to join with the down in order to look neat before I start shading in between. want to make sure that you draw the lines really well my pencil wasn't well sharpened and that's why I I had to go over it again I shaded in between and now I'm going in with the other part of my brows I'm also drawing this the same way I did line it down and then line the top part of your brows Now I'm going to start shading in my brows. I draw little lines there just to make it look a bit natural. And then I'm just going to fill up the empty spaces I see in my brows. And you can see that this one turned out better than the first brow I drew. Setting my brows with the Zaron concealer which I got from the Zaron store. It's a really good concealer you can see how lightweight it is and how it just really goes well with your skin it looks a bit much but it actually blends really nicely you see soon i use a lot of concealer because i know this kind of concealer actually blends really good and it doesn't leave a mark afterwards and that is why i feel so free to use it however way i like and whatever amount i want to because it's the more concealer I use basically, the more neat your eyebrow look. What you should look out for is to make sure you clean up and make sure that the lines are really straight and that you get the shape that you want. So I decided to blend the concealer downwards towards my eyes because I know I really, I was going to still put concealer down there and it, all, it just made sense to use the leftover concealer down. So now dealing with the upper part of my brows and you can see that it's so easy for me to use my concealer because I had already applied it close to my brows. I think I like how the shape is coming up and I think I'm going to leave it this way. It's a bit big but I kind of like my brows to be huge-ish. And there we go, I'm done. Now I'm going to blend it with my beauty blender. All you have to do is keep tapping, tap and tapping. Actually, the blending process depends on the type of concealer you use. And Zaron concealer is so far the best I've used. I don't know about you guys, but if you're using a really thick concealer, then you shouldn't use too much so that it wouldn't bring your foundation game. I blended the concealer towards my forehead. And now the down part, for the down part of my eye, I blended it downwards towards my cheeks so you can see that the concealer isn't wasted at all although i still have to highlight the under underneath my eyes so it still works normally i would have mixed my concealer with my foundation before applying it on my face but i am doing a heavy makeup right now and so i didn't want to tone anything down which is why I just use the concealer directly on my face like that without mixing it with foundation or a darker shade of concealer. As you can see, it's really highlighted, which is why you have to blend, blend, blend. It looks like it's not going to be blended, but eventually it will all come together. 
I'm going to be using the Zaron foundation. It's a darker shade. It's one of is I think it's the second to the darkest shade of foundation of Zaron foundation. And I'm using that to contour my face a little bit and also to clean up the highlight the highlighter I used. Okay. Now my favorite part, which is setting my face with the setting powder. Can see that I'm using a lot and that's because they have a makeup okay normally this is not my everyday look slash everyday routine I'm also going to go in with the setting powder on my brows just to set it and to also make it look a bit more blended with my face kind of and natural ish because it can exactly be natural so yeah i use a little bit of powder on my nose and i should have gone in with more but i'm not done with my nose yet so looking like a snack already almost <laughs> using my eyeshadow palette in earth and smudged you can see how great Zaron foundation, I mean Zaron eyeshadow looks. This is me trying to straighten out my lashes. My lashes are super curly and it worked a little bit, but it's not really straight as much as I would like it to be. Next, I'm going in with mascara. I fixed my lashes off camera because it took me a lot of time and I needed to take my time to fix my lashes well. Now I'm lining my lips with a pinkish shade of lip liner and then I'll go in with the next shade which you're gonna see, red. Red lipstick is something I rarely use but because of this video I decided to use red lipstick today. And to me, it wasn't so bad. I decided to add more lip gloss though because I didn't want dried red lips. And since it wasn't a matte lipstick, I felt that lip gloss would just do justice to lipstick. And then I changed my mind and decided to buff it a little because lip gloss was a little too much. Now for the fun part. Now I'm highlighting this with the powder highlighter because my makeup cannot be complete without highlighting even if I had already used an illuminator with that before the foundation. I just need to add more because heavy makeup, you know. Lastly, I'm setting it with my spray. This is how it turned out. It looks really good and I love the red lipstick. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you 